Hey everyone, it's Brandy. You're watching Abstract Crafter. I have an unboxing today, and I bought this because I've been told repeatedly, buy every moment, try every moment, get every moment. So I did. And let's just see if uh, they live up to all the hype that people have given it. <laughs> that was a weird way to try, a weird sentence to try to formulate. Okay, so while I'm opening this, I will talk about, you know, the huge. So I ordered this on July, August 18th. I almost said July. Wow, this year is flying by. On August 18th, it shipped on August 22nd, so that was five days. It arrived to me on September 8th, making that 18-day shipping, you know, from the day it shipped to the day I got it. For a total of 23 days. Oh my god, that's really packed in there. It's really nice. Like, you can see it's got the bubble wrap, too. And, like, the typical coating. And I, I took pictures of my label, including the weight. Because when I went to file that dispute on the Sylvanas saga, uh, that was one thing that they asked. And, of course, I told them I didn't know I needed that, so I threw that away. Oh my... Gosh, this thing is wrapped up tighter than, never mind. <laughs> I didn't have anything good to add to that, so maybe I can rip it now. I was really excited about getting this tube, and it looks like it held up very well in shipping. <laughs> if I can get this off, you know, from what I can see. <laughs> It was kind of hard to like decide because every moment does have a lot of nice pictures, but they are on the spendy side, and I'll be able to tell you once I look over all this if I think it's worth it to spend the extra dollars. I kind of am thinking so right now. I think the extra dollars goes into their packaging and the way that they organize the supplies, and I haven't been able to actually look at the canvases myself so yeah but you know being a, a lover of purple I love that and you guys know I am a sucker for the details when a company puts in see I'm using different lighting but when a company can put in little personal touches like that I love it I think this is really I love the way that they package I've always admired that from other people's um, unboxings I'm not going to take the ribbon off because I like it. it. I can't tell. It kind of... So yeah, they're capped. Oh, and then it does tell you... My light will let you see. <laughs> wow, that's really close up. It does tell you right there. So I know it's going to be 40 colors. That's a 35 by 50. And I would have told you that once we got there. Yeah, this is in really nice shape. It's not... It's got a little dent there. But that's... You know, this is sturdy. Can you guys see that, the way it's, let's move the table a tiny bit. Look at that, that is nice, the way it's packaged in that, that tube like that. I like that. Oh, oh it's not in baggies, but that's okay. I've seen a lot of people get them in baggies. I don't necessarily care for that myself anyway. Oh. Ooh, look at my gift. It's tattoos. Metallic. Oh, I like that. I like it better than the bracelets I've seen. I'll actually use these. Pretty cool. And I'll, I'll go through the toolkit just because we haven't done this company before, but I want to show you first. And I'll insert a picture. But that, that's really, my, oh my gosh, this is a nice canvas. And it does have an inventory, and I like their inventory sheets. It's not like, when I go to make a copy of this, it's not going to have lines running through it from where it was folded. So that, that's an even better picture than that's on the canvas. So 40 colors, that's a lot for a 35 by 50. And so, 
Oh, see, I like that. I like that a lot. It says tool, ever moment. I love the personalization. And so, and then this is the only other company that I've gotten a six placer with. I've only gotten it from one other, or one other time, and that was from a tool kit that I bought on Amazon. So it's got the nice white tray, and it, they do, I'm going to have to open this up because you're not going to be able to see this. You know, I don't really like to go through the tools unless the tool kits are unique. So, when I show you guys how much wax I have when I do my uh, supply video, it's, I, I, I gotta figure out something unique to do with this stuff. But see, so, this is a nice tray, I can tell. It sits flat. And they give you labels, which <laughs> we all know how much I, oh, like my labels. I rip that sucker off though. So that's nice, and I, they just, the only thing that's not in here, it could be in here, are extra baggies, which I really don't care anyway. But they do give you like a grippy and a three placer, and like I said, a, a six placer. So if you need a six placer, every moment apparently is the place to get it. Cause I, like I said, I haven't gotten it anywhere else. I only have one. And now they have the nice, oh! That, I haven't seen that in anybody else's yet. They actually have their name embossed on their tweezers. So now Hua Ken is not the only company to have them. And they are the nice, sharp ones. But I don't know, do you guys find that these bend really easily? Mine do, maybe. I'm just really rough with them. But I have two of them from Hua Ken and they've both bent. But I love that it says every moment on it now. I don't know if I've seen that in anyone else's videos yet. Huh. Maybe I'm the first. I'm just kidding. I don't care about that. Alright, so let's put this off. We'll come back to this. We'll put it over here at the inventory. Let's take a peek at my notes and <laughs> the canvas. Um, and everything's just falling everywhere. Okay, I'm actually going to save this. And this is shrink wrap too. You can see right there. Or you could pull it off if you wanted. But I'll probably save this. Although I have a new way of, or an extra way of storing my um, diamond paintings. And I'll show you guys that in the su supply video. Let's take a peek. That's a good size. I think the flower, I didn't, I didn't think that the flower needed to be any bigger than this. Which is why I was comfortable. And we might have to lower the table, but let's move the diamond. Yeah, and there's another detail that I'm noticing, and we'll we'll go over this in a minute. Hold on, I'm trying to find the little lever that releases my table. There it is. There. Okay. So, this is something else I haven't noticed, it, and and it could have been there all along, but you know most people don't go into the insane detail that I do. But look at their name is up there. And it's got this purple trim around it, which is a detail that I absolutely love. You know what? I'm already, I'm feeling exceptionally good about this company. So before we look at the canvas, let's look. You can see the colors that are going to be in this. And those, and you're seeing my shadow right here. That's the dark over there. But look at those symbols. Those are hopefully, you know, nothing looks super similar. They look very easy to read. I like that they have all of this on here. And I like that they give you an inventory sheet. And look at how flat it is already. I really don't need to lift the paper up and I'm almost afraid to because I can never get it lined back up, but we gotta look at the canvas. And one thing I stopped kind of doing is going over the glue and how it, uh, the stickiness level. Oh, holy crap, those are pretty. All right, let's take a look. So it's actually printed sideways, but I that's fine with me. So look at that. That's a very clear pasting area. I'm trying to see if there's lines around the black. And there is. That's good because I need those dummy lines. 
personally. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to be <laughs> ordering from any other company. Ah, what are you doing to me every moment? Oh, and that's, I forgot to mention, over here it also tells you your size, how many colors. It's got the serial number, which I'm guessing is also going to be on the diamonds themselves. So I guess maybe I do need to flatten it a tiny bit because it is wanting to curl just the smallest a bit, but it's not really super tight. That's going to be pretty. And just like scanning over like the DMC numbers, I can tell that this has got a lot of pretty colors in it. So that's it from that side. Let's see if we can move my light a bit or try to block that enough. There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm a big fan of blue and purples and teals, as you know, and I'm a big fan of flowers. And so one thing that's good too, when you get ones with the opaque cover is you, wherever this ends, that's where your tape is going to end. So it doesn't hang off too far. Oops, see? Oh, see, you're going to get in the way here. They did such a good job putting this down. Now I'm just going to ruin it. You know what? We'll fiddle with that later. Let's just see the other half of it. Yeah, that's... That's going to be nice. And it, uh, I don't see anything wrong with the canvas itself. There's the glue... The, not the glue, the tape. Looks like it's laid down fairly well. It does overlap the teeny tiniest bit right there, but it doesn't seem to be too, you know, it's not going to really affect it. And the only other thing I'm seeing is on the glue right there. Let's see if it's going to actually show you guys. You can see it's coming up a little bit, but that's easily fixed. That is super easily fixed. And in fact, when I put this paper down, I'll be able to fix it. And then it was a little bit on this corner too, and that could have been from my nail. See, it's like bunched up a little tiny bit right there, but that's on the border, so I really don't care about stuff like that. And I can just smooth it out with my nail anyway. All right, let's get this paper laid back down. See, and then all I have to do is take my nail and smooth that out and it's fine. flat. My god. And I don't even have to worry about rolling it and putting it back in that tube, but I am going to try to fix this itty bitty gap here. Even if I can't get that completely perfect back on there, it's not going to matter because of the new way I store bigger canvases. That's good enough. Yeah, well, thank you everyone for the suggestion of going to Ever Moment. I am very, very happy. These are some exceptional looking canvases. They really pay attention to detail. They do a super good job. Okay, so as I suspected, this code that's right here in the red is also right here on the diamonds. So you could keep them stored in this if you wanted. And I did, I noticed they might, they probably have a couple of machines depending on orders and how busy they are. They might have one that does it by weight and one that does it by counts. So that's not an uncommon thing. For companies. So let's take these out. Oh, one I And I'm seeing some things that I really like already. For example, on 995 here, it's white instead of black, making it much easier to see. And look at you can see. Yeah, those are some good quality diamonds, I can tell. And then um, later colors, they're still in black. So, why don't I pause? I'll just make sure everything's here. And then, oh, that's the only thing that might be a little difficult. I'm going to have to use my own math skills because they give me a number, a symbol, the DMC number, and then the total quantity versus how many bags. Like, so, let's see, 318 is right here. 
And there's 441 used. I want to see what it says, if this is the exact same. Yeah, so the number over here, it's not like who can. These aren't the weights that they gave you. It's the actual number you use. And so there's 441. And they gave me two bags, oh, three bags. And see, it's got, look at that, it's got a little two on it for 200. So there's 200 count, maybe, I don't know, because now 310 has one on it. Hmm. Could be the machine that was used on them. Can't tell you, because like 725 has no number on it. Okay, so ignore what I said. But they, they can, they can contain 210 per bag, and two bags would have been 420, and they gave me three bags, so I know that I will have plenty to complete my project. And it doesn't look like there's any of the oversized bags. Oh, never mind, I lied. Right here. And these ones typically contain 500 in each one. So let me, uh, let me uh, do some inventory. I'll let you know if I think I have everything uh, when I come back. And then I'll have all the colors laid out so you can see all of them too. Okay, so everything is here. And I noticed something else. This is double checked. You got two inspector stamps on it. They have given me more overage than I've gotten from any other company, period. I, I panicked for a moment, I, I'm not going to lie, when I saw, what was it, 158, all I saw was the four bags, initially, these three, which would have been only 800, and then on top of it, there's another one of 500, so they gave me more overage, every single one has at least 200 over, I mean, almost, I say almost, because like, uh, 3047 right here. There's only one bag. You only use 159, but that's still 150 over. Uh, so the only one that didn't have a ton of overage was 3354. There's 162 in the gaming one bag, but that's fine. You know, that's I'm more than okay with that. Look at these colors. They are so vibrant. They hmm. I am not disappointed with anything. So for the unboxing, all the criteria on my checklist has been met and exceeded. So I'm, right now, I am, and I'm not going to ding them for, like, right here because I think that was my claws that dinged up the double-sided sticky tape when I pulled up the paper. I do think that's me. The way it was packaged beautifully, there isn't a single wrinkle, there is not a pinch in the canvas. Their attention to detail is, honestly, just put everything over the top. The canvas is bright and very clear. The colors, I mean, look at the vibrancy in this. That is unreal. And when, I'm look, when I was looking through them, I didn't see very much garbage at all. And one thing I do want to show you is... If you remember, in my unboxings, I tell you guys that, you know, the way machines run, if one is sealed on this side, you know, so like it's open over here, and it's sealed on this side, they all are going to be. But they still put arrows, like right there, that 666 got the up arrow. So, and then there, my one right here was a 900, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? Hmm... Well, it's buried. Oh, right here, right in front of my face. Like the 996, it's got the up arrow so you know which way, but I knew anyway because the first thing I do is I look to see what side that they're sealed on so that I, I always then when I'm going through them, I pick them up that way. I know the seal is on this side, and so I know all of them are going to be sealed on that side. I, this is a 10 out of 10, uh, all the way. I, this is... The first canvas and kit from AliExpress that has gotten a 10 from me. So, uh, let's see if it can maintain that 10 when we work on it. I will be definitely be doing a drill with me on this one so that you guys can see how it all falls into place together. I mean, I'm like just, I can't stop staring over here especially. Like, look at 891. 
I don't even think my camera is doing it justice because it's a lot brighter on my hand than it's showing up in the camera and it's probably my lights. Let's see if we can get that more true to color. A little bit, that's a little bit better. My camera is drowning it out. I mean, it's bright, it's very neon. Like, look at this orange. Look at these greens and teals. Those, and you can just see how much it's sparkling just moving it. I haven't seen that from diamonds in a period. Look at that, my God. So yeah, uh, 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. I know people are hesitant because they cost a little bit more than most companies on AliExpress, but I can tell you right now from how many I have unboxed and gotten from AliExpress, I will gladly pay their prices again. I can't wait to order something else from them and see if they, uh, if this, you know, was a fluke or not, but I'm guessing it's not. So when people, you know, go all crazy over this company, it's justified. I, I can verify that. I'm looking at these purples and how sometimes I've gotten them where you can't tell the difference between 208, 209, and 211. They're just very, you know, there's a clear difference. So I, I think this is going to be my next one. I think I am going to have to jump right into this one next because I am so anxious to see how good they did. Oh, all right. So I want to measure the canvas and that is the last thing we're going to do. And then I'm going to let you go. So let me pause, put this stuff away and then I'll measure and we'll wrap up while I'm measuring. I'm laughing because I can never package things the way that they do. Look, I can't, there's, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I was just joking with my husband and my son and I, I was saying that how much I uh, genuinely love this company and I was like every moment can I be an affiliate <laughs> I'm just kidding though all right I can see right through the canvas so we're gonna s or through the uh, paper so I can see if the numbering is accurate so we're just shy of 50 so and that could be me. I could be off. And they always ask you to allow, you know, 35 on the dot. So it is the pasting area is what every moment does their canvases by. And that translates into inches wise. Let's see. Come on. About 19 and a half by 18. just shy of 14, so 13 and three quarters. So, very nice. I seriously am super impressed. I am going to be ordering, my next order will be through Evermoment. I, 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 I don't want to keep gushing about them, but I really am. I'm super impressed. I'm going to try doing this mobile scanner and see where that brings me. And I will let you know next time this canvas appears in a video. But, um, wow, yeah. So, 10 out of 10, two thumbs up for the unboxing and first impressions. Um, stay tuned for a drill with me on this and the post review before you make a final decision on if you're going to buy from Evermoment. But, personally, based on the unboxing, I'm going to go order from Evermoment again. So, um... With that, I will let you go. Have an awesome day. Have fun diamond painting. I love you, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.